Hi, and thank you for joining Lisa Brown, Stamp with Lisa Brown, on my Savvy Sunday. Today, I'm going to be showing you a background technique that kind of mimics the um, Aurora Borealis. And we're also going to feature the Mountain Air stamp set on the card. So let me set this aside for now. We're going to start with a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in a scrap piece of paper just to protect my work surface. And I've gone ahead and figured out what my colors um, want to, I, that I want to uh, use. So today we're gonna to be using Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy, Seaside Spray, Bermuda Bay, and then at the very, very end, we're going to incorporate just a little bit of Rich Razzleberry. And then as you can see, I have my uh, sponge daubers that coordinate with each of the colors. For this uh, technique, you can use um, sponge daubers, you can use the regular Stampin' Sponge, or if you have any other blending tools um, out there, you can uh, certainly use those. So for right now, we're gonna start with our Seaside Spray. It's the, our lightest blue that I've picked out. And put that on my finger, and we're gonna just go around and grab some ink. And I'm gonna start at the end, and I'm just going to drag this down. I want my heaviest cover, coverage to be at the top of my cardstock. And you want to pull those straight down. I'm going to go along my edges here. And with using the sponge dauber, you have to um, be a little uh, cautious of your sponge dauber not skipping kind of makes like a, a resistance and it kind of jumps. But once you have all of your color on, if you're if it does do that, it's not, I, it happened right here, you're not gonna see that. So let me go back in and I'm gonna do some on this side, I'm just covering that edge and dragging it down. You can use um, a whole bunch of different combination of um, of ink colors. You know, Stampin' Up has uh, several other ones that you can use. Coastal Cabana and um, Pool Party. This is just what I pulled and what I decided that I liked. Okay, so that's for my lightest color. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside. Next, we're gonna go into Night of Navy, and what I found was, I'm gonna get this out, this is, ref, have a little reflection. Um, even though the Night of Navy looks darker than the Misty Moonlight, I actually found when I was applying it to my project that um, I felt that the Night of Navy was just a little bit lighter on the shade for me. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna put this all along the edge and I'm just gonna make some streaks down. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you so you can get a little bit closer view of what I'm doing. There we go. And I'm going to turn my paper around and I'm just going to take some of that native navy over here. Now 
You want it a little bit heavier on one end than you do on the other. Okay, I'm gonna leave this open in case I feel like I wanna come back and add uh, some, more of the, some more of that in there. So now we're gonna go over to Misty Moonlight. just a little bit down here. Okay. okay. Let's see. And we're gonna do the same thing just in case we wanna add just a little bit more touches. We're gonna to leave that out. And now I'm gonna come in with my Bermuda Bay and we're gonna just add in some of that Bermuda Bay. Go. And I'm doing this with a very light touch, just adding in a few of those green streaks. And over here, I went a little bit heavier, which is fine. Okay, I dropped my, I um, skipped on my dauber right here and it put a, a dab. If you wanna blend that out, you can just take one of the other blues and just kinda add some color over that, just kinda mask it a little bit. Now this one, I only went in one direction. You can, um, you can flip your card over and go the other direction too if you'd like. No two cards are gonna come out the, the same, and um, it's just a matter of you playing with your, um, your ink colors and your daubers to get the effect that you like. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I, I just wanna darken this edge up a little bit over here, so I'm just gonna add just a little bit of uh, some Night of Navy. And I'm up over in here. Um, and then I thought, gosh, the Bori, uh, the Aurora uh, Borealis has uh, just a little more sparkle of color in it. And so I decided to um, add some rich Razzleberry. Um, so now I know I have quite a bit of rich Razzleberry on my dauber. I don't want a ton of color. So I'm just going to, I'm not gonna re-ink it. I'm just gonna kind of drag some of the um, purple streaks in there. If you want it a little more prominent, then go ahead and um, you can add a little more ink to your um, sponge dauber. But I just wanted uh, a hue of some purple in there. Okay. I do want to darken up the top a little bit. Okay. And there we have our Bori, Aurora Borealis background. And then um, I wanted to put some stars in the sky. So uh, I have taken my uh, Stampin' Chalk marker and we're just going to put some... Um, little dots just random all over to make it look like we have a starry sky again I'm going to come in just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing 
so you can see the detail. Just random. And then I'm going to just make some of those a little bit bigger. And then go with the very tip of the marker and get uh, a few tiny ones in there. And that's our Bori, oh, I keep saying it wrong, Aurora Borealis um, background. Okay, so we're gonna zoom back out a little bit and we're gonna just put a um, quick card together. Um, I have pulled the uh, stamps from the Mountain Air stamp set and we are going to stamp the um, tree scene across the bottom here. And we're just gonna use the black memento ink. Probably don't need to ink all the way across that, but that's okay. All right, and we're gonna stamp this down towards the bottom. Give that a nice good press. Oh, I like how that came out. All right. And now I, I, I feel like I want to, um, I want a tree over here. So I'm going to stamp this little double tree from the stamp set. And we're going to just put this over here. I'm going to stamp off the paper too. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and I want to I want to fill this in a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm just going to ink up the top of my tree and give a couple little stamps in there. Okay, I like that. Okay, and then we are going to um, mount this on a piece of basic black. It's standard. It's um, eight and a half by five and a half. And um, we're going to score it at four and a quarter. Okay, we're going to score it at four and a quarter. And then give it a nice crease with our bone folder. These are nice. Stampin' Up bone folders are really nice. Okay, and then I've cut a piece of, I felt like I wanted a white background behind here. So this is five and a quarter by four. And then we're going to mount this on top. And it's just going to be a one eighth inch border. And there you have a beautiful Aurora Borealis 
card and you can use this for uh, multiple occasions a masculine card um, a sympathy card this would even be beautiful um, as a Christmas scene you can add some more white down here for uh, some snow and make this into um, a Christmas card so thank you for joining me today on my Savvy Sunday I hope you enjoyed make sure you're subscribed to my channel Lisa Brown stamp with Lisa Brown check out my blog which is creativecardcloset.com and uh, join me next Sunday for my next series.